So with our supply and demand model, we can start to make predictions about the world and we can do some analyses. So let's start here. Let's ask this question. Is there enough healthcare in the US today and is it being sold at an affordable price? Now, I personally think that the answer to, to both of those questions is no. I think that there is not enough healthcare in the US and I think its price is far too high. So let's start thinking about what we could do to perhaps make this world a little bit easier for people. So what we want to do, so our goal is to lower the price and in this case increase uh, quantity. Okay? So we want both, we want the lower price and we want the increased in quantity. So let's start analyzing what we could do. We could, if we wanted to, uh, we could tax a lot of people, give that money to other people, and allow them to purchase health care. Okay, if we do that, well, that would be a shift in the demand curve because we are changing the consumptive habits of people, and it would be an increase. And so what would happen as a result of this? Well, the price would go up, and the quantity would increase. Now, it's important to note that while we got the higher quantity that we perhaps want, we got the opposite of a lower price in that we got a higher price. This gets to be delicate because in the case of federal policy or state policy or anything like that, some people are going to have this policy apply to them and others aren't. The people to whom the policy applies might have higher income that they can use on health care, but the people who do not qualify for these programs are going to end up facing higher prices and are going to have a really hard time being able to afford health care in general. This sounds like a both discriminatory practice, but also a practice that could lead to further problems down the road. So what if instead of increasing demand, <clears throat> what if we tried to find ways to make it easier to provide health care? Okay, so here <clears throat> we have our standard uh, model, standard you know, starting point, supply and demand with our price and quantity. <clears throat> what if instead of focusing on the aspect of buying health care, what if we focused on the side of producing or providing health care? If we make it easier for medical professionals to provide health care, well then that would induce a supply curve increase. And so that would lead to something like this, where the price would go down and the quantity would increase. And this lower price here doesn't discriminate. There is no qualifying for the lower price. There is no qualifying for the increased income that you can use on health care. Everyone faces the same now lower price. And because of the lower price, more people can afford to go out and purchase health care. And because of the lower uh, costs or the increased ability to provide health care, we'll see more medical professionals. This sounds like a win-win. We get the lower price, bringing down expensive medical bills, and we get the increased quantity, which would be symbolic of the increased availability of healthcare in general.